And if you want, you can go to Image Adjustments Brightness and Contrast again, and you can boost the contrast of that layer up a little. Mm, go around 65 for contrast. Um, drop back down to your original render layer. Grab your eraser tool and um, just lower the opacity to around 80 of your brush, uh, of your eraser. And kind of using a fuzzy brush, kind of just erase the edges of your render a bit. Just so it kind of blends in. But since I don't want it to blend in too much, I'm going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen Edges. Um, and that just defines it a little more. That Now make a new layer. Um, and go to Image, Apply Image, and then just select OK. What this did was just take all our layers um, and then combine them into one image. So now you have one image above that. Now go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to go with a blur of 1.5. And select OK. Now set the layer mode on to Lighten. That creates a kind of nice glow effect. I'm going to erase a few spots that I don't like. And now I'm going to make a new layer above all of this. And I'm going to go again to an image, apply image, and select OK. Now I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to go with a blur of 2. But this time I'm not going to um, change layer mode. I'm just going to take my eraser brush and erase the area around my render. And I'm going to erase some of the area around that. I'm just trying to add some depth to my render, uh, to my signature. So just I'm just blurring out the edges a bit. That looks good. Now make a new layer above all of this again, and grab your paintbrush tool. Make sure you have a fuzzy brush, and set your uh, foreground color as black, and just paint along the edges. Since I just find that there's a little too much light, um, light colors in here, so I want to add some dark. And if you find that you've added a little too much black around the edges, you can always go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and just blur it out a little. Now this looks pretty good, so now I'm just going to make everything blend together a little better. So make a new layer above everything else and go to Image, Apply Image again. And duplicate this layer twice. And go to Image, Adjustments, Gradient Map. Now, under gradient used for grayscale mapping, click that little drop-down menu and select that purple to orange or violet to orange gradient. That's a default gradient, so you don't have to do anything. Now set the Slayer mode onto soft light. Now I'm going to lower the opacity to 50. Drop down to the next layer below that. Oh, and make sure that was on the very top layer. Um, now drop down to the uh, layer right beneath that and go to Image, Adjustments, Gradient Map again. Except this time we're going to go with this violet, a green, and orange gradient. Set that layer mode onto soft light again and change the layer mode to around 55. I mean the layer opacity to around 55. Drop down to the next layer and go to Image, Adjustments, Gradient Map. And I'm going to use this um, blue red and yellow gradient. Set that layer mode onto soft light again and tone down the opacity to around 50 or actually 40 seems good. So now you have this nice color you've added some nice color to it. Make a new layer above everything again and I'm just going to add a nice border so make sure you have your foreground color on black. Go to select all then go to edit stroke and make sure width is on 3 and the colors on black, location inside, blending normal, opacity 100. And uh, select OK. Let's change your foreground color to white and go to Edit, Stroke. This time with the 2 color white, everything else same. Change your foreground color back to black and go to Edit, Stroke. This time with the width of 1. And then you can go ahead and select, deselect. Set the layer mode on to overlay. And there you go, you have your very nice looking signature. 
And by the way, if you're wondering how in this one I made my text run along uh, the person, grab your pass tool or your pen's pen tool, and I'm just going to draw a, a path that kind of follows the person's body. And I'm going to grab my text tool, and I'm just going to uh, hover over that path, and it should ch the icon should change. Type whatever you want, and it should type right along that path. And I'm just going to change the color, and then you can always you know fade it out a little, do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's how you can kind of create this nice looking signature. Um, if you guys like this, you know, leave a comment below. And by the way, if you did not know, I'm having a giveaway. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description to where you can watch my giveaway video. Um, and I hope you guys like this, and I plan on making uh, more signature tutorials. Um, so yeah.